Welcome back to Maine's Total Weather and News this morning. You're taking a live look from Augusta this Sunday morning. The snow has started to fall there. We saw it switch over from rain, which they saw pretty much through the night. And uh, now the snow has arrived in, yes. the, in the Capital District. Yeah, Midcoast has had mm -hmm. uh, its share of uh, snow early this morning so far. And now it's uh, making its way around the state here. I know, yeah. and we were anticipating that changeover it came right on time this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, we saw rain for the first few hours. Now the snows come in. We're getting snow pictures from Walderboro, from Cushing, uh, from Camden of the snow now coating the grassy surfaces. And it's the intensity that's going to make it mm -hmm. stick right now because it's not below freezing. Yeah. Right. So at least the roadways should be okay unless they're less traveled. And then you may still have some of that snow accumulate. Notice in Wiscasset it's snowing but 35 degrees. And Augusta's 35 degrees with the snow falling as well. We're going to look at radar right now. And the one key thing that we've been watching with this storm system that has made the forecast so tricky is how far westward of this precipitation is going to make it, and that was going to make or break the snowfall forecast. We knew the midcoast was going to get slammed, especially eastern midcoast, but how far would that heavy snow penetrate? Now we're starting to see the edge of this storm system through western portions of Kennebec County and really stopping through Lewis and Auburn, portions of interior Cumberland County. We're talking closer to Gorham and then back through about Sanford. To the west of that, we're not seeing much. You may get some flurries, a light random snow shower, but the heaviest precipitation definitely along mid coast right now. With some of these heavier bands, it may continue to push in just a touch further westward, but I really don't think we're going to see anything closer to the Maine and New Hampshire state line based on what we're seeing currently in radar and also based on our computer model. So we're taking in a lot of different factors here as we make this forecast today. Very hard storm system to forecast, and that's typical with these early season ones because we have the different precipitation types to take. Into account. So here's all snow. We're talking from Caribou down to Bangor, all the way through to Midcoast and the Capital District. The southern coast, we're probably going to see a lot of that mixture, rain and snow, maybe accumulating to a trace. And of course, as you get north and east, you might get two inches. So three o'clock this afternoon, Midcoast. Augusta is still dealing with the snow down east. You are just getting hammered with snow at this point. And into the afternoon and evening, we get a lot of this to change over to snow if you are still seeing rain and it pushes out as we make our way through the overnight. Cold air drains in. We are in the 20s tomorrow morning across the board. So this will be the first time Portland drops below the freezing mark and everyone's going to be dealing with some iciness. We are talking black ice problems tomorrow, whether you saw rain or snow today. It's all going to solidify tonight. So it's going to be a little bit slippery tomorrow morning. Otherwise, Monday, great day. Accumulation, this is what I'm looking at, especially with the current trends of that storm system not really getting much past Augusta. We're looking at a trace, most of the Maine and New Hampshire state line and the adjacent areas. Once you get into Lewis and Auburn, maybe two to four. Augusta, I think you might be closer to that four inch mark. Depends how much those real heavy bands make their way into the portions of Maine. We're expecting the heaviest snow to be into Knox County, portions of Lincoln County, Camden Hills. You could be the Jackpot winner for our neck of the woods. Unfortunately, we already saw the tweet from the Camden Snow Bowl. They are not opening early. Uh, storm warning on the water today. A gusty wind, 55 knots. And today we will be dealing with those blustery conditions and 50 mile per hour winds, rain, and snow likely. Highs will stay in the 30s today, 40s in the next two days. A little bit of a boost before our next storm system comes in, only into the 50s, which is where we should be for this point in the year. Back to the 40s next weekend.